Hey everybody, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here. We're back doing another Rivals of Ixalan Intermediate Swiss Draft League. Well, we opened Watley. I think the problem with Watley is it's not that good. Pump a creature and you lose. Lo I mean, yeah, it gets big. Yeah, I mean, doesn't protect itself. Okay, I know. It's a big deal, though. That is a big deal. It's only worth a ticket and a half. I mean, we take it because it's a Planeswalker, and we probably want to try them, especially this early in the format, but honestly, I'm pretty unimpressed. But maybe it'll impress me. Another thing is it, it doesn't limit you to, because you can splash it, but man, why does there have to be so many other good cards in here? Too. Like Golden Demise, Silvergill, Adept, Pale, Verdict. This pack has to have everything else that I want to. Alright. But I was saying, uh, kind of limits you to dinosaur colors, but that's not true. You can splash it. Alright, follow up pick. I like the Regisar a lot. This card's really good, efficient, kills things when it attacks. Thunderherd Migration's cool. I guess rampant growth is just too good nowadays. So instead, we have to have an uncommon one with an additional cost. Jeez. Uh, Pioneer is definitely good, but we'll take the Regisar. Naya Dinosaurs, go. I don't know, maybe. I am not married to anything right now. All right. Best card in the pack. Well, Thunderherd Migration kind of makes sense if we do end up playing Naya Dinosaurs. Otherwise, there's Knight of the Stampede, which makes stuff cheaper, which is good. Also, I have Raptor Companion, which is a two-drop. Kind of want to take the Thunderherd Migration. Give her a go. It's an uncommon, too. I think Resplendent Griffin is good. Blue-white's a weird little color combo in this format, though. I think we'll take the Thunderherd Migration. We'll open ourselves up for some spicy, spicy, spiciness. So, I mean, nothing really fantastic here. Probably the Trailblazer is the best card. Doesn't really fit in thematically with what we've got, but I don't think that matters. I'm not married to anything yet. I have to remember that. Sort by color, in fact, till we get everything squared away. So we'll take the Trailblazer. It's a good card. It is a good card. It's just not exactly what I was looking for for the build we've got. Like, I think Trailblazer is definitely better than Companion. And Snubhorn Sentry, more of a Whatley card, I would say. Kind of buys you some time, but I think we take Trailblazer over Companion again. Well, Swashbuckler's good. It could be that we're a pirate deck, too. I mean, don't have a problem with that. There's a Tillinali's Crown in here. Can't stress enough how cool that spell is as a kill spell. When that happened to me, just clicked in my brain. It was like, how did I never think of that? Might just want the Swashbuckler. It's a pretty solid two-drop. A two-drop 2-2 two -two with Double Strike would be nuts. So I think we just take it. Kind of leaning towards pirates, aren't we? Here's a Relentless Raptor. Kind of cool. I mean, hard to go wrong with a 2-mana 3-3. Three, three. The issue being, of course, that it's red-white. But we could be Naya still. Otherwise, we take Firebrand, which is good for Ascend. I think the card in general is pretty good. But we probably take the Raptor. It's uncommon. It's a little more interesting. So we could take the crown now, or we could just take the bravado. We already have three pirates. Crown's pretty cool with raptor, but I think we take the bravado. 
So we could take Frilled Death Spitter, which we probably do. Over Shatter, Sun Sentinel, Armasar. Seems good. Okay, another Death Spitter. There's a Knight of the Stampede, but I don't know. It feels like this pack kind of indicated, hey, go down a beatdown red deck path. That's the impression I got, just based on what we saw. Like we could take the frill back here and still be just red green beats. Frill back seems fine. Otherwise, we could take the pirate. I do actually think slippery scoundrel is good. Red blue is good. If I take the frill back, I get to stay with the regisar. But if I take the scoundrel, that's a late scoundrel too. I think the card is good. I think I still take the frill back though, and the only reason is I could still splash Hotly, and I feel as though. Regisar is just that good. I'm going to take the Plummet here. Good sideboard card to have. Take the Raptor. I don't really want to play it. So I guess we can sort by color now and start to... Alright, that's actually kind of cool. Till and Ollie's Crown very easily could make this deck. We'll see. Um, Form of the Dinosaur. Now I hear this card is not that good. However... I like Tillinolly's Crown with Needletooth Raptor. I think Raptor is actually pretty good. There's also a Chupacabra in here and a Hunt the Week. Kind of interested in the Raptor. I played it the first draft, and I really liked it, actually. Uh, I don't think we're going to try the form of the dinosaur. I, I'm, I don't really feel it. I feel like you end up killing yourself. be nice if you didn't have to deal the damage. That would actually be cool. If you didn't have to deal 15 damage to a creature and opponent controls. In fact, at rare, that would almost make more sense. But we're going to take the Raptor over the Hunt the Week and be fine with that. That's a gift. This card is incredibly good. One of the strongest limited cards in the format, I would definitely not be out of line in saying this card is incredibly good so I'm very happy to get the thunder or tender shoot dryad just spits out dudes all day amazing with Watley too that's just cool uh protean raider on the splash i don't know otherwise we could just take the corsair we don't need dinosaurs for anything other than thunderherd migration which we may or may not play Probably not going to toss in a Raptor, too. And even if we do play the Thunderherd Migration, we have a fair amount of dinosaurs already. We have five. Yeah, actually, that's not bad at all. Protean Raider is pretty cool. Do I want to go for the Splash? Just, I feel like Splashing Watley is probably enough. I think Charging Tuscadon is really good. But Corsair is a little bit cheaper, so it might make more sense for us. Probably wheel another Till and Ollie's Crown, which I'll be fine with. Cherished Hatchling. It's kind of cool, actually. Probably makes sense for us, anyway. Otherwise, there's a Stalker in here, but we'll take the Hatchling. It's pretty good with the dinosaurs we already have. Yeah, it's actually really good with Raptor. I'll play my Raptor. It'll fight uh, that Tutu, and then it'll die and kill that thing. Yeah, that's some good value. I like that. All right. Shake the Foundations is actually pretty good. There's a Mutiny here, though, and we are so removal light that we don't have any removal. So I think we take the Mutiny over the Corsair. We actually need to be able to kill things. Uh, all around unexciting pack for us. I don't want to splash Pride of Conquerors. Could just take the Dinosaur. It's probably fine. Helps with Ascend a little bit. Kind of cool with Watley. Otherwise, it's an Artisan or a Jade Bear, which don't really make too much sense in the deck. And Freebooter, which is a Pirate, and helps splash, but I don't think it's a good card. I think Armasar probably wins more games. Stone Quarry does, in fact, make a lot of sense for us. Otherwise, another Death Spitter would be fine. But if we want to play the Watley, which I do... Why don't we just get a little fixing? I think we're going to have more than enough playables. As is. Hardy Veteran's good. We're going to take it. 
all the two drops. So another Bravado or another Armasar. Um, Bravado's combat trick we already have. One, two, three. We only have four pirates. I'm going to take another Armasar. Another Mutiny is good. I like the crown, obviously, with the Raptor again, but we're going to take Mutinies. I want to be able to kill things at one mana. Could just take the Highland Lake. But am I going to splash blue? Probably not. I guess we take the Bravado then. It's a combat trick. Got the crown anyway, which is cool. Crown's not bad in our deck. It's actually good with the Death Spitters, too. All right, Dreadmaw, legit. So, could be more of a mid range deck. In which case, we'd probably play 17 lands and. Yeah, I'm actually okay with that. I I don't think that's I don't think that's bad. Well, second to last pick on color playable four drop is pretty sweet. Let's try and figure out the weakest cards in our deck. You know, honestly, even though Tillinali's crown is good in our deck, I'm not really feeling it. Monstrous are. Jeez. What a gift. What a gift to open. Yeah. Monstrous are, baby. I'm a big fan. Alright, we probably ditched the artisan anyway. We probably ditch. Well, we're going to probably want this fire cannon blast because it kills things. Probably ditch the crowns anyway. As cool as it is, we just don't need it. Like It's not like Needle Tooth Raptor is bad without Tilnali's crown. It just gets better. But if we don't have space for it, we don't have space. All right, Raptor's gone too. We're not going to splash for the random two drop three three. That doesn't really make sense to me. But we will take the fire cannon blast here. Another, wow, that is pretty slick. That is pretty slick. Yeah, that's just good. That is just good. Wow. I think we're probably cutting a bravado. Wayfinder is a good card to get past because it's a strong, strong three drop. Certainly better than Diviner. Munitions we don't need. Interesting with Needle Tooth Raptor, I guess. That actually is kind of interesting with Needle Tooth Raptor. Sack something to deal one to your Raptor to deal five to something. It's cute, but I don't think we do it. We take the Wayfinder and we're going to find a way to put it in the deck. I haven't figured that out yet. So we can take the New Horizons. I think that might be... Well, we probably play the Migration and the New Horizons, actually. We've got enough that we want to fix and ramp into. Could take the Raptor, I guess. It's the same thing as a Frillback, except red. Primal Amulet, don't have enough to make that do anything. And Verdant Rebirth is... I've actually had it played against me too. Pretty impressive effect, but I don't think we want it. I guess we take the Raptor. Um, Crushing Canopy is a good sideboard card to have. The versatility is very good. Don't really need a Brute, although it's fine. And then Stormfleet Pyromancer is actually okay too, but we're going to take the sideboard card. Whiptail, pretty useful card. Tillinali's Knight, though, also good two drop. At this point, we probably have enough dinosaurs, too. Yeah, I think we take the Tillinali's Knight. As much as I like a Whiptail, let's get some. I mean, usually Air Tord's cheaper is my rule of thumb. I would play Sure Strike over Buccaneer's Bravado, but I'm not sure either are going to make the deck. Admitted, we are removal light, but not terribly worried about that. Dual Shot is a fantastic sideboard card to have. Very, very good against certain decks. One mana kill two things is very, very powerful. So, alright. Well, if you know me, you know I like Wily Goblin. However, might just want this commune with dinosaurs, especially since we're three color deck. How many dinosaurs do we have? That's the real question. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight, nine. Oh, we have more than enough to play this. Okay, I'll take it. 
Well, we got the munitions back. I'm not going to play the keeper. I don't think we're playing munitions either. It's just one of those cards that's cool with the raptor, but probably aren't going to play the bravado or the sure strike, despite being removal light. Ryle. Yet another card, kind of cool for our deck, but just don't have space for it. Abrontodon. We don't need you, but that's okay. Okay, so I think our deck is good. I'm trying to think of the way to best way to maximize this. Do I want to play 17 lands? The only reason I'm even asking that is because we have Migration, New Horizons, and Commune with Dinosaurs. You can almost count this as a land, and then on top of that we have two ramp spells. That's pretty good, I'm, but we're three color. I think I'm just going to get over my temptation to run 16 lands and just bite the bullet and run the 17. So let's ditch the... Uh, I think we can probably ditch the Corsair... And I know you're wondering, well, why the Corsair instead of, like, a Raptor or a Frillback or a Death Spitter? Um, Death Spitter is actually a reasonable argument, but I want all the dinosaurs I can because of Migration and Commune now. It makes more sense. Um, and the Cherished Hatchling. We just have dinosaur-related cards, so that, I think that makes more sense. We have to make three more cuts if we want to make this work, and I do. So, why don't we do a final dinosaur count? That'll help me sort of gauge where we're at. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We have 12 dinosaurs, which is plenty. Plenty. Turn 2 migration, turn 3 Regisaur is pretty nuts, too. That is nuts. Hmm. Maybe the hardy veteran... Could be a Trailblazer, even though it has Menace. We're not a beatdown deck. The only reason I want to run it is basically because that is Menace. I'd rather just have a 2-4. But remember, this is still an attacker. That's kind of the issue, isn't it? It's not like this blocks well. Neither of them block well. It does sort of make sense to cut three creatures. We probably want to run all of our spells. So we have to find the three weakest creatures in our deck. It's probably an Armisar. It's probably a Hardy Veteran. And it's probably a Trailblazer. So we could cut these three. It does significantly lower our two-drop count. But if we're running 17 lands, to me it sort of makes more sense to keep the curve a little bit higher. You want to get value if you're running 17 lands. You want to make sure that you're, you've got some beef to seal the deal on some matches. So we could cut these three. We still have 16 creatures. We've only got two mutinies and a fire cannon blast in terms of removal. I guess Regisar and Raptor. Actually, Regisar and Raptor, I just realized, work really well together too. I'll attack you with my Regisar, deal one to my Raptor, kill that thing. Jeez. Or deal one of my Death Spitter, deal two to you. That's pretty sweet. Uh, I'm I'm fine with this. I am fine with this. I think you it's going to be a little bit more difficult to get Ascend in the stack. Just because our stuff is a little more top end. But I like having the Armasar and the Tender Shoot Dryad to help us get Ascend more quickly. Overall, I don't think this deck is nuts by any stretch, but it's cool. It has cool elements to it, which I like. And we do have a little bit of fixing on top of that. So we do actually want to run a Plains, though, because we have the Thunderherd migration. So that makes more sense to be able to ramp into it. We don't have any other fixing, however. So we'll run our one Plains, which they also say we should do. And that way we're doing... I don't know. I think it actually makes more sense to do this. That way we have eight green, eight red, two white. And uh, overall, I, li I like the deck. I certainly don't think it's busted. It's nice having a pretty good sideboard, though. It's nice to be able to kill X1s all day, kill flyers, kill flyers and enchantments. That's pretty good, actually. Um... Yeah, so a little bit removal light, which is kind of an issue, but we've got some super powered stuff in here. Like Tennis Shoot Dryad wins games. And then you've got Hwatley, which I don't think wins games, but is cool. And uh, 
Regisar and some fatties. So, I mean, double charging Monstrous R is definitely really cool, too. So this deck's cool. It's just a cool deck. I don't think it's nuts, but uh, having Tinder Shoot Dryad is... This card is pretty broken and limited. If, if it goes unanswered, it's a huge deal. So that is a big pro of this deck. All right. We're going to run it like this, and we'll see you round one.